We then take people to the Boulder Biodiesel Processing Facility where we teach people how to build their own biodiesel processors made from recycled materials like a water heater with the heating elements already in it, some plumbing, some valves and a pump that people can set up in their own garage that are safe, no fumes, that are clean and very, very easy to use. I would fill this with oil, so using the oil fill, using the pump, fill it up using the sight tube to determine the level, sh um, you know, have all the valves shut off and then just start heating. And that's when you're weighing your ingredients and it's just a heating tank, so that's what it's designed to do anyways. We built one on the spot and showed people how they can do it themselves. And then we shuttle people around on the university bus, the buff bus from CU on 100% biodiesel. It's up to Berthoud, Colorado and visit Rocky Mountain Biodiesel Industries where they're making 8,000 gallons of biodiesel a day from waste vegetable oil. So essentially at our conference we give people the skills and the tools they need if they want to make biodiesel in their kitchen, in their backyard or on a large scale. So, you want to use biodiesel. What do you do? First thing you need to do is get yourself a diesel vehicle. Anything that runs diesel will run biodiesel. So, like I drive an old Mercedes. You could get the new VW TDI that gets 50 miles a gallon. The new Bug, they also have a diesel version. You can get a pickup truck, Ford F-250, Cummins diesel, Dodge Ram pickup trucks then you need to have access to biodiesel. Here in Boulder and Denver and spreading throughout the state, biodiesel is available at the pump. Internationally, we're seeing violence, turmoil, instability, all being very, very connected to the oil industries. So when you go buy gas at the pump, you are supporting an infrastructure that is exploiting people internationally. You're supporting global warming. You're supporting uh, health problems with children. When you buy biodiesel, you're essentially eliminating all of the negative stuff that is associated with petroleum fuels. If we want to survive, we have to believe another world is possible. My biodiesel supplier is kind of like the modern day milkman. I get about 10 gallons a week from Mike. He brings it down to my house. He takes the old cans back and then puts more fuel in it for next time. And so we just trade off the jugs every week. Mike set up a biodiesel processor out of a 55 gallon drum. I've been using this system about a year. I started last August and basically started out with this and this. He gets his oil from different restaurants around town, waste vegetable oil that's usually thrown away in the grease dumpster that is found plentiful across the country. Actually, three billion gallons a year of vegetable oil is put to waste. This is where it starts. I get the oil from the restaurants and run it through this filter to get any of the food chunks out. Yuck. And he's got a couple of other drums for a washing system to purify the biodiesel. And the only byproduct is glycerin, which he uses to make soap. Which one's lavender? Uh, these dark these ones? dark ones, I believe. Nice. I think. Mm. He sells it to me for about $2.50 a gallon. And I know all that money goes to him and his family. He's got two kids, a beautiful wife. And when I know that all my money for my vehicle and for my fuel is going to actually support people and family and I know the person who's making it and developing it, I mean, it's just tremendous how you feel about that. We're 
we're trying to create a world where people are producing fuel for their friends and family. And, you know, you're not going to go bomb your neighbor or attack, you know, the other communities for your fuel resources. This is about community. It's about getting together. It's about engaging and knowing where your fuel comes from.